I have uh, received a photo from an, an informer in Singapore. The photo on a, at the at the top. So the he bought a bag of flour. Some people call it flour. <laughs> flour in Singapore. One kilo for sing dollar. Two dollar twenty cent. The receipt is on top. I can WhatsApp you the clearer picture. The receipt is on top. Two dollar twenty cent. Sing dollar. So uh, an almost identical bag of flour. I bought it in uh, A Eon in uh, Wan Utama on the 30th March before GST. And this is a photo I, I, I took. It's the control price at 1 ringgit 35 cent a kilo. This is the control price. So, and uh, I have Google and I found in Utusan online, I think in last year. Uh, Utusan online reported in Melaka Jasin. Uh, the traders there couldn't. They, they were. It's, it's, it's very hard for them to find the blue key chap kunci lah. They call it chap kunci a blue key flour. They're running out of stocks. Uh, so this uh, this gave me reasonable doubt that the massive smuggling is ongoing. The smugglers bought rookie flour from Malaysia and sold it in Singapore at a, at a very huge profit, almost 400%. From 1 ringgit 35 cents to almost 6 ringgit in Singapore. Okay, if you convert the $2.20 sing dollar to ringgit, it's almost 6 ringgit. <coughs> and uh, at the taxpayers' expenses. We taxpayer, we pay a lot to subsidize the flour and uh, the profit is made in Singapore. So, Sedam MP will elaborate more. Okay, uh, saya juga nak tegaskan, ini adalah gambar tepung yang dijual di Singapura. Ini adalah gambar tepung yang dijual di Malaysia. Uh, ini adalah gambar yang tadi uh, saudara Lip Ing telah menunjuk. Apa yang saya nak tegaskan ialah di bawah sini di tepung yang dijual di Malaysia ni harga uh, penjualan dicetakkan sebagai satu ringgit tiga puluh lima sen dan pada masa yang sama harga uh, subsidi yang diberi oleh kerajaan lima puluh lima sen juga dicetakkan. Tetapi pada masa yang sama untuk bag kepung uh, tepung ni yang dijual di Singapura. Kamu boleh nampak kat bawah sini telah sepatu ah ni telah dipadam. Telah dipadam. Painted over. Uh, jadi ini memang sesuatu yang uh, saya rasa kementerian perlu memberi uh, uh, satu jawapan. Dan pada masa yang sama uh, saya juga nak beritahu uh, bahawa subsidi yang dibiayai oleh KBDNKK atau the Ministry of uh, Domestic Trade Cooperatives and Consumer Affairs is 150 million 150 juta untuk tahun 2015. Di tahun 2014, uh, anggarannya 185 juta telah diberbelanja untuk uh, memberi subsidi uh, tepung ni. So, I call upon the Domestic Trade Cooperatives and Consumer Minister who is entrusted with 150 million every year to administer this program to investigate immediately. In addition, he should explain whether there are loopholes uh, in the distribution of subsidies to the flour millers or and the wholesalers which allow them to sub sell this subsidized flour overseas. Uh, most important, we ask the Royal Customs Department uh, who is the authority in charge of collecting GST to explain how these uh, subsidized food items can leak through our borders so easily. Uh, sebelum ni kita pernah dengar banyak cerita di mana uh, ada penyeledupan barang subsidi di border Thailand Malaysia tetapi sekarang rupanya berlaku di Singapura juga